Let's build the best creeper farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.19. The first thing we're going to do is place down a double chest right here. Then we're going to grab our hoppers and come behind this chest. And we're going to go ahead and place down a 3x3 three three of hoppers with all of these hoppers running into one another. We're then going to grab some blocks and we're going to wrap blocks all the way around the hoppers and the chest just like so. And then we're going to place down one block right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build up 14 blocks on all of these blocks except for these front three. So ignore those three, but the rest of these we are going to build up 14. And after filling in all of those blocks, this is what the farm should look like. We're going to come up here now and we're just going to connect this up with blocks. So then you should have this little hole right here, or I guess it's a big hole which we're gonna fill in with a bunch of glass. So we're just gonna fill in this entire front panel with glass, but leave a little doorway for right now. That way we can still access all of the hoppers. So just a nice little doorway and just like that. At the top here, we wanna grab some blocks. We're going to build out by seven in every direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're gonna come over here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're gonna come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And finally, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now we want to go ahead and fill in this entire area. So the easiest way to do that is just go ahead and connect all of these lines up. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill in all of these squares. And once you're done, this is what it should look like. You should have this massive platform with this little three by three in the center here. So what we wanna do now is wanna to come to the edge of the platform, place down a temporary block and then a block on top and go ahead and break that temporary block. And then we're gonna go ahead and place down a giant rim around the entirety of the farm. So we're just gonna do this for the entire platform. And then when we connect it up over here, we're gonna do the exact same thing again, except this time we're gonna go ahead and use some stairs. So we wanna go all the way around the entire platform with stairs now. And after placing down all of the stairs, we're gonna go ahead and waterlog all of these now. And the easiest way to do this is just go ahead and create a little infinite water source. Just create a three by three hole, and then go ahead and place down some water on both sides of the hole. So now you've got some infinite water here, so you can go ahead and waterlog these stairs, grab some water, waterlog the stairs, grab some water, and we're gonna do this for all of the stairs all the way around the platform. And after you've waterlogged all of the stairs, it should match up perfectly with the three by three hole we have in the center here. And honestly, this looks pretty satisfying if I do say so myself. We're gonna come to the edge of the platform now, and we're gonna place down a block right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and place a block up and then a block to the side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build this platform all the way across the platform, just like so. That sentence was a little bit redundant, but hopefully you get what I mean. We're gonna leave a one block gap all the way around the farm to create a giant square inside of the water platform. From here, we wanna go ahead and make a giant waffle shape or a grid pattern just by creating giant lines going all the way across this square. So we're gonna make lines going this way, and we're also going to make lines going the other way as well to fill it in, leaving a one block gap between all of these stripes. And after you've made the giant waffle, we can go in here now and we're gonna place down a trap door in the center of every single one of these holes. And then once you've placed down all your trap doors, you're gonna go ahead and open all of those trap doors up again. So we're going to do this for the entire platform. With all the trap doors in now, we're going to place down buttons on every odd block. So every time you have a trap door, you're going to leave a gap and then you're going to place down a button just like this. So just follow this pattern and we're going to go through the entire thing, leaving one block gaps, kind of doing this wherever the grid meets, if that makes sense. So you've got this line and then another line and then you're going to place down a button in the center. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna show you when it is completely done. All right, so this is a completed layer. This is what it should look like when you're completely done with one. But now we have to build a couple more just to make the farm a little more efficient. You could go ahead and just use one, 
However, I recommend having at least two and you can have a maximum of six. But to build our next layer, we're gonna leave a two block gap and then we're gonna go ahead and build another layer. So we want to pretty much carbon copy this just two blocks higher. After you've built a second layer, there's one more thing we need to do and that's place down some trap doors on the underside of this layer just so that we don't have other things spawning like skeletons and zombies. If you want to have this as a mob farm, then go right ahead and forget this step. But if you just want creepers, then go ahead and place down trap doors everywhere that there isn't a button. So we're going to do this for the entire layer until we have essentially a giant grid or checkerboard of trap doors. All right, and once you're done, it should look something like this. This is by far the hardest and lengthiest part of the build. However, this is what makes it so that you only get creepers, thus maximizing the amount of gunpowder you get. However, if you're gonna make six layers, be prepared to do this six more times. Speaking of which, I'm gonna do this so that we have six layers. After building six layers, this is what it should look like. And really quick, the very last layer, you're gonna have this being your sixth layer. Then you need to have a roof with the trap doors, but of course you want it to be a solid block layer and you also want it to not have the buttons on top. So this is what it should look like when you have six layers. You could also do three and then have this top layer as well. It doesn't matter. I do recommend having at least two layers though. With that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and on this top layer, we are going to expand out by 12 blocks in every single direction, similar to what we did down here for the water platform. And this is what it should look like after you've built out by 12. It is a considerably large platform and it is going to spawn a ton of mobs in the night. So we have to go ahead and light this up. However, if you take a look underneath, you'll notice it's quite dark under here and currently we have a couple mobs spawned beneath here. So we are gonna do a giant lighting project so that this farm becomes even more efficient. You can see that we have a creeper that fell down now. And if we come up here, all we're gonna do is spam a ton of torches all over the place. You can be a little bit more methodical than me, um, but I honestly don't care about the positioning of these torches. Just go ahead and spam a couple so that no mobs will spawn up here. And we're gonna do the same thing below the farm as well, because if we have mobs spawning up here, this is going to drastically hurt the rates of the farm. So that should probably be good for up top. It looks really ugly, I'm gonna be honest, but at the same time, it really doesn't matter. And we're gonna do the same thing down here, making sure that no mobs spawn, because again, this is going to hurt the rates of the farm. Along with that, you're also going to want to go ahead and light up any nearby caves if you have any of those because those are also going to take up part of the mob cap, but this is looking pretty good. Now all we have to do is go ahead and kill those mobs and then the rates of this farm should be pretty good. Actually, I think just flying away would have killed them. Yes, it did. So there we go. We have got pretty much a fully functioning farm now. All we have left to do is go ahead and kill the creepers and the easiest way to do that is to grab some campfires and we're going to go ahead and place down nine campfires on top of all of those hoppers. Go ahead and seal that up with some glass and now we are ready for all of those creepers to fall down and they will die in the campfire. So hopefully we can watch this. There we go. I saw a creeper. There we go. He's dying on the campfires and then if we go ahead and take a look in the chest, we should have some gunpowder. Of course, that creeper didn't drop any because that's my luck. Um, but yeah, so that's how the creepers are going to die and we're going to get tons of gunpowder from this farm. There's only one thing left to do and that's to create an AFK platform. And the easiest way to do that is find the center of your farm and go ahead on the third layer of the farm or whatever the center layer of your farm is. We're going to build out by 20 blocks. So one, two, three, 15, and 20. On this 20th block, we're going to go ahead and break this branch here. That way none of the creepers walk off. And then over here, we're going to grab some scaffolding. Or you could go ahead and build yourself a pillar and some ladders. We're going to go ahead and drop some scaffolding down to create a way up here. That way we have a spot to AFK. So once we have all of the scaffolding up here, there's just a little bit left to do. My oh my, that is a lot of scaffolding. That went a lot taller than I Okay, that was very weird. Anyways, we're gonna grab some glass now and we're gonna create a little glass enclosure for us. That way we don't have any mobs or phantoms 
hitting us in the middle of the night while we AFK. So just go ahead and box us in. And there we go. Maybe you want to throw down a little chest. You can make this however you would like, but this is going to be where we AFK. You can actually see some creepers on the platforms, and this is going to give us so much gunpowder. This farm is absolutely insane. All right, and the rates for this farm are about four to eight stacks per hour, four stacks being the minimum and eight stacks being about the maximum. You could probably squeeze in a little more and you could probably squeeze in a little less. It really is up to chance and some random number generation. Um, but yeah, this farm is super efficient. It's going to get you tons of gunpowder. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. And if you did, then please do consider subscribing and leaving a like. Really quick though, I just want to apologize for my voice. I have literally drank two liters of water while recording this. My voice is dead and my throat is so incredibly dry. I think I have something, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, then please do consider subscribing and leaving a like. My name is 1FMC and I will catch you guys in the next one.